Yo guys, today's video is about my weekly skincare routine for how I keep my acne at bay. I say weekly because ain't nobody got time to do all this every day. I get a lot of clogged pores which results in skin tone oil bumps, but this regime really helps me banish that problem. By the way, I only wear eyeliner on the ends of my eyes because of my eyelash extensions and it makes it very easy to remove. I've been cleansing with Vanity Planet Spin for Perfect Skin Brush and wow, that's a mouthful. It comes with four different brush heads and it spins vigorously. This is my first time using a facial cleansing brush and I must say that I've been enjoying it a lot. I feel like my makeup is totally lifted from my pores. My skin feels absolutely squeaky clean after using this and it does help with my clogged pores and apparently my best friend Alicia uses this too. And I think it's a good dupe for the very expensive Clarisonic. However, this brush might be a little bit too harsh for people with sensitive skin as it does feel slightly uncomfortable when I use it on the more delicate parts of my face. It also causes the foam to fly all around my bathroom, so use this in the shower. Clay masks have been my holy grail for the past few weeks. I was curious about the hype of clay masks, but I didn't want to spend a hundred bucks on a glam glow one. So I decided to get to the root ingredient, which is bentonite clay. To make a powerful but natural exfoliating scrub, mix equal parts of bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar. This mask is truly magic. Your skin will look so clear afterwards. Clay unclogs pores, controls sebum production, and draws out toxins from the skin. Apple cider vinegar also helps with clearing your skin up. It keeps bacteria away and stops pimples from forming. If you have dry or sensitive skin, you might want to start off with a small quantity of clay and apple cider vinegar. I went heavy handed because my skin is used to this mask. After mixing, your mask should be a thick paste like so. And I actually added more water because I felt like it was a little bit too thick. So just play around with the formula and get the consistency that you like. Oh yeah, don't be alarmed if your eyes sting a little, it's just from the apple cider vinegar. As I said earlier, I recommend starting off with a small quantity, like maybe one teaspoon of each. Your skin should feel very tight while it's drying, but this is fine. Just let it be and leave it on for 15 minutes. I can't even smile. Hello. <laughs> Ideally, I would wash this off in the shower, but you can just use warm water and I'm using my cognac sponge right now. And I also added some of the clay on my neck, by the way, because I had some extra. And yeah, we're done. Your face might feel a little bit raw and red for about half an hour, but it's fine. Just add a little bit of a heavier moisturizer and you're good to go. I highly recommend this mask to everyone. Please check the description box to see where I bought it. Use the other half of the lemon and dab the juice onto your face with a cotton pad. A light layer will suffice. You don't want to dehydrate your skin. Next, steam your face so that your pores open up wide and the lemon's magical vitamins are absorbed into the skin. The heat stimulates rapid skin cell production, so dead skin cells quickly end their life cycle and are replaced with nice, clean ones waiting underneath. Also, as the pores are wide open, it makes it much easier to squeeze any clogged pores or spots out. Make sure you alternate between all these skincare routines because you don't want to over exfoliate. Microdermabrasion costs thousands of dollars to do at a clinic, but the personal microderm enables you to do it at home for a fraction of the cost. All you gotta do is just attach one of these tips, and I use the blue one because it's the least abrasive one. Pull your skin taut while the PMD works its magic. It removes dead skin cells and smooths away rough texture. I use it to fade acne scars and clear out any blemishes and clogged pores. I've been using it for years, so I'm a strong advocate for this product. Don't redo any areas that you've covered because this can actually hurt your skin. I hope this video was of use to you and if you liked it, please click the subscribe button. You don't have to, but why not? It's free. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.